All right, so for this video, I'm gonna be talking about my anti-hangover prevention supplement stack. I'm not really sure if it's actually gonna work, but this is gonna be my first time trying it, which is why it's a quote-unquote experiment for me. Now, I don't always get hammered, so the last time I got hammered was probably on the second month of this year, and I'm gonna start drinking on Saturday, so let's see how it plays out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my stack. Well, this is going to be my stack, just an experiment, see how it turns out. And the first one is going to be vitamin C, glue the thigh on, vitamin B complex. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but it's NAC, N-A-C. I'm not going to pronounce this one either, but it's D A C. And then we have purple tree hydration drops, which is just electrolytes. And last but not least, we got glycine from bulk supplements. Oh yeah, and also when I feel nauseous, I'm going to be eating toasted bread and crackers. Alright, so when you end up drinking, the alcohol it turns into a toxin in your system and your body's trying to remove it for obvious reasons because it's a fucking toxin so all right the first supplement is going to be vitamin b's and i'm not sure if i should take them yeah actually i'm gonna take them before i start drinking this is because drinking alcohol causes a deficiency in vitamin b's so that's an obvious choice i'll also be taking vitamin c three ramps before drinking well this is because vitamin c is a powerful antioxidant and it also helps the body create glutathione I'm also going to be supplementing glutathione and I know what you guys are thinking you're saying that's stupid that's a waste because when you take it orally it doesn't really do that much but to be honest I take apart the capsule and I put the powder under my tongue and I feel like it's better absorbed that way so that's why I'm going to be taking it before I start drinking all right now NAC NAC helps the body create more glutathione and that's actually going to be really really good but I Okay, I'm also going to be taking 3 grams before I start taking shots. And the reason you guys want to do this as well is because if you take it while you're taking shots, I heard it's, it has more of a negative impact than a positive impact. So I cannot stress this enough. Take it before you start drinking. Alright, moving on to DHM. DHM, I'm going to be taking it before bed after I'm done drinking. This is because I heard that DHM causes you to not feel as drunk. So if you want to have a good time, if that's how you roll, just take it before bed. I would wait like 30 to one hour before bed and definitely avoid taking it in between shots or in between drinking. All right, now the purple tree electrolytes, I'm going to be taking them right before bed or at the same time that I take the DHM. This is because it's a no brainer. Your body is going to be, you know, depleted of electrolytes and certain trace minerals. So that's why I'm going to end up drinking the electrolytes right before I go to bed. I'm actually going to be drinking, I would say, two packs of it. And then when I wake up, I'm going to be taking another two packs of it. So yeah, that's about it. Now, the last one I notice that not a lot of people actually talk about it and i think it's underrated when it comes to hangover prevention it's going to be glycine this is because when you're drinking somehow the body tries to use the water from the brain and that's what causes you you know to have the symptoms of a hangover which is numbness nausea headaches because your brain is lacking water and i'm going to be taking three grams right before bed of glycine so yeah that should do the trick hopefully all right so if in the morning i feel nauseated and i feel like puking i'm just gonna eat some toasted bread and some crackers that's about it really the reason i ended up picking these supplements for the anti-hangover experiment that i'm going to be doing is because one keyword that stuck out to me whenever i was researching or reading all these articles was that glutathione so all of these su supplements actually help your body create glutathione and that's going to help combat the toxin that the alcohol ends up making 
and staying in the body. Also, the electrolytes, it's pretty common sense. Also, toasted bread and crackers, also common sense. I'm not really going to get too technical or scientific with all this crap. But yeah, let's hope for the best. And I'll also end up making an update video so you guys don't have to worry about that or even mention it. Thanks for watching. This is Aiden, and I'm out. Oh yeah, right before I go, Happy New Year, you bastards. Voila, I'm out. Okay, I'm out for real this time.